So, Maria, how are you? Well, I'm doing good. How are you doing today? I'm doing really good, especially because you've come to see me. You know how happy you made me when I watched that video night like before? Um, no, but I know that I've made a lot of people happy. You see that? I never expected it to be like this. Exactly, and you made me happy. You know why? Because if you can do all of that at 11, imagine what you're going to do when you become 21 and 31 and 41 and 51. You can take on the world. <laughs> See that? Where do you go to school? I go to school at Carson College. Oh, for one? Yes. You're reading a lot? Um, yes, I do. I quite enjoy English literature. I can see that you're a wordsmith, as the man told you. <laughs> Little thoughts on what? Little thoughts on baby. I love that so much. And you know, I wrote you a little note. So when you get it, I'll show it to you and see why that is so important. Because if everybody in this room gave us a little thought on a big matter, we could change the world, not true? Yeah, yeah. So tell them that for me. Well, if everyone in here was to give a little note on what was their little thought for me to change the world, we would change it. And, and if you think Sweden has something with Greta, Barbie, this has Maria. <laughs> <laughs> yeah? So you're going to help us fight these battles globally? Yeah. You know who you remind me of? You remind me of Rihanna. You know, your confidence, you understand, more than anything else. Because as long as you believe that you can do something and you work hard, hard, hard towards it, you can get it. You know that? Yes. And secondly, when you're doing it, you always remember to take care of everybody else around you, correct? You know the golden rule? say all the time a number of things because they won't be able to reach you as much as they want to reach John and the PS and all of these journeys from here. And that's why I try to keep it simple so that everybody can be on the same page. So when I say the golden rule and what your mom told you, that's the same thing as do unto others as you would have them do unto you. So we treat everybody, spend the moment to think about everybody. Because no matter how strong we are, no matter how good we are, we don't live alone, correct? Yes, we definitely do not live alone. And what inspired you to do the videos first? Well, I just saw a person just full of trash in the internet and I thought to myself, well, why did you know that that person is full of trash? people like you that I want to help me lead the battle to make Barbados the cleanest country in the world, correct? Yep, I definitely would like to see how this would affect our environment and see if people would make it different. If this is cut down or how people would expose the attraction. But how would you like me to help you with that battle? Well, I would like you to help me change that battle to show people about Hey look, this person is doing it, so probably that will inspire everyone else to start doing the same thing. So you think you can inspire people to do it, correct? Yes. So you have your own YouTube channel, right? Yes. And if I can tell GIS to give you some space in addition to your YouTube channel on CBC to be able to reach more babies, you would do that? Yes, I can. Darn, your first plan at <laughs> GIS. <laughs> yeah, that's a deal, but do you have others at school who do the same, that feel the same way as you? Or there are a lot of other people at the school that feel the same way. I'm just not sure if they're confident enough to start doing it yet. You see why I told you I admire your quiet confidence like Rihanna? So what you have to do, you've got to go and make them hope. feel confident too. Yes, I would like to see them make people have the same ideas as I have my school. All right, and then pull them together in a room and give everybody a chance to do what? So you see what I tell you, you remind me of Rihanna. <laughs> Rihanna, you got the Navy. <laughs> and you want your army. Now we want you to help fight climate change. You know why? Because when all of us may be gone, 
is you and your generation and your children that are going to have to be fighting the consequences of the climate. Understand? So the first thing we have to do is to educate people at all ages. And that's what you're helping us do. So you have your movement and army ready to go. But it means that you've got to bring them along, correct? Yes. So your next step is what? Why the ocean? Well, because the ocean is pretty much what makes our biggest problems. The second problem is the ocean takes the beaches. You think people going to the beach having fun, you think the beach ball <laughs> and all the other beach sports. So it's important that we protect our reef, we protect our oceans and our beaches. I could not have said it better. No? I agree. <laughs> now you know why I have a Minister of Maritime Affairs and Blue Economy. So my next thing is to make sure that he gives you an audience so that you can tell him what you and others of your age would want to see him do as Minister of Maritime Affairs and the Economy. That's fair? Yes. Okay, I will look forward to that. So tell me what you like best about school. Well, I like art and I like English literature best about school because I can kind of, I can read, I can write, so it brings out the I can express myself in art and I can express myself in how I talk. Right, so you, and you see yourself as wanting to bring about change. Yes. And that's the, I want to tell you a little secret. That's the only reason I'm sitting here. You see that? So that at my level, I started like you. Absolutely. And you can do anything. Don't view Barbados as your limit. I want you to view the world as your oyster. And I genuinely mean that because you have what we didn't have when we were growing up. You have the power of the internet. You have the power to reach people in Australia, in Africa, in Asia, just with your message. And one of the things that we've always said about Barbados is that don't mind how small we are, we punch above our weight. You understand what that means? Yes. So don't mind how small you are, you continue to punch above your weight, correct? And I want to congratulate you on an excellent interview with UNICEF. And in fact, I think the gentleman will probably will have realized that you were doing a better interview of him than he was of you. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for that compliment, but he was a very nice person, so I say we both very good. <laughs> See that? And what you have clearly, and I wish I could open back up the card and write it, is that you also have a generosity of spirit. You don't ever lose it. Because the most important thing in life is to be generous of spirit. Don't matter how much money you got or whatever, is when you give of yourself and you treat people well, that is the greatest, greatest gift in life. So always, always remember that. Yeah? What would you like to do when you grow up? Well, I'd like to be a prosthetic doctor because I'd like to help people with like, maybe people with like different kinds of diseases. Like, I'd like to be able to help Well, not definitely not in my, in my world of dreams, because I thought 
is so powerful in unlocking what everybody in here, everybody in this country thinks, everybody around the world who is your age group. And what you want is especially to be the voice of people your age. So at 11, you're going to be the voice of people your age. At 12, bring along the 12 years. At 13, you understand? And keep telling people the whole small your thought is. It is important as long as it's on a matter that is affecting us all, which is a big matter. So it is so brilliant that I don't even know, I mean, I really, really am bowled over. Yeah? Okay. Any other questions? Just one thing, would you consider giving her a few of all, like, so she can get 10 call records? Um, I mean, for, I'm sure you have an email address. Do you have an email address for the open state matter? No, I don't. You see, you just got a wonderful I suggestion. Have, I have to ask the dad on that. The email address and kind of address actually that physical. Uh, hashtag too, right? Um, I think it's a hashtag. Yeah, if, if it isn't created, then I, when I go on Instagram later, I can make sure I use it. Alright? <laughs> <laughs> what, what, what's the thing you like to do most? The, all the serious talk, all the talk. What do you like to do most? I like to paint. I like to paint. Uh-huh. Um, so she paints, like, do like clean and she paints, and mm -hmm. I think that's very interesting. 
Questions before the press conference? <laughs> I went to school at Blackman and Gallup Primary School. It well, made, made me feel even more proud because I chose the site for that school. I have seen you in my class. You should look That's right. That's what they came up with. <laughs> That's what they came up there to visit. In, it was about, I can tell you when. It was when Budubanta was here last year. I remember that clearly. I spent the morning up there at the school. Yes. So I know your head, former head teacher too. Yes. That's awesome. You see that? <laughs> so I have a little something for you, you know that? What would you like to be able to help you work at school? Um I didn't. Okay. At school you have right now you do a lot of online classes? You have a tablet? Oh, I'm certainly not Santa Claus, but I see talent when I see it, and I'm going to make sure that you have one now. You're most welcome. Let me get it to you.
and you're going to have to take care of this world for me, right? And for all of us. About the sooner. I need no job. Thank you so, so much.